Howdy folks, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in West Melbourne, Florida at a 55 and older community. And they're all manufactured homes and we're gonna be doing a repipe, so why don't you join me? The manufactured home is a whole different monster. Uh, the reason why we're really piping this one is because it has the old gray polybutylin PEX piping. And I happen to be the small guy, so I have to do all the work underneath. So this ought to be fun. Access panels around the house. So we're going to walk around to the other side where I got one pulled, and we're going to start working underneath. And we've already cut the water off to the house. And I put a new water main on way back over there. I'm underneath the kitchen area. I hear something dripping. What the heck is that? We got a big old belly sacked in here. One of these pipes gave out. That's just extra water running in the lines. That's why we're doing a repipe. You know how they run the drains in here. You just set them on bricks down through. Just free sat right underneath the kitchen sink right now. And I gotta get up into that vapor barrier and cut those old lines out. You can see I already ran some new ones. I stopped them down along here. They opted out of putting pipe wrap around it. So that's what they wanted and that's what we're doing. All right, let's see what we got up here. When you're working at a manufactured home, a lot of conventional rules of plumbing go right out the window. Uh, the water runs, the drains drain. I strap down sometimes to wherever you can find a spot. We don't want these pipes banging around in here. I've got them ran up to the kitchen. The customer wanted to use CPPC because it was cheaper, so that's what we're doing. All right, so we had to come out and take a break. It's about lunchtime. Forgot to mention this to you. Anytime you go into an attic to do a repipe, or especially underneath a home in a trailer, rule of thumb, always take your wallet and your keys off your person because I don't want to end up getting them lost back there underneath somewhere and not find them. So remember this. Here's another reason why you don't carry anything in your pockets when you're down underneath the trailer. Have a look. Pockets full of sand. <laughs> All right, I worked my way back to the kitchen. I ran into this copper pipe. take the water heater out of here on the outside wall because we had to access a shower valve and we have a tub valve and those are getting replaced and then we'll put the water heater back in underneath here is where your water main is coming in. I've already put a new valve in here. And there's that copper line we were talking about. It comes across and it goes underneath here and feeds the laundry. So everything else here We've got two bathrooms back to back and this is where the rest of the plumbing that direction where you just saw me in is coming and all meeting together 
to tie in as one with a street pipe. See how this is a lot of fun. You got three of the guys here working with me on the job. Um, I still got to go down. I got to tie the water heater in. Uh, two toilets, three bathroom sinks, and a shower and a tub. Uh, so we've got our work. And I that copper line that we saw over there is a supply that's going over here into the patio into a shed for the uh, laundry. So we've got to tie all that into as well. Yeah, that's all the time we got for today, man. I sure appreciate you guys all hanging out here and watching me crawl underneath this manufactured home. We're in the middle of doing the repipe and stuff. Won't be done today. It'll be done probably tomorrow. The, the homeowner uh, just bought this place and is making some changes and some of the plumbing is getting moved around and stuff like that. Remember, safety first whenever you go out here and do these jobs. You know, you get these little hidden dangers in attics as well as underneath mobile homes and stuff. We'll have some more videos coming here in the next few months uh, on some more plumbing inside a manufactured home. Thank you so much. Until next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.